All right, and in this session, today we're going to talk about Google Drive, how to upload a Word document that you've already created and make it into a Google document, and also how to share a Google document once you've completed it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to log in. If you haven't created a an account yet for Google, make sure you do that. There's a video also on Skyward and Edmodo that show you how to do both of those. If you haven't turned in your technology letter, make sure you're getting that done over the weekend as well. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to come up here. Um, we're going to turn a regular Word document into a Google document. So I'm going to click on Upload. And click on files and here are some of my skyward message centers so I'm going to click right here on last week's or actually ending this week okay now you can see it tells me the upload is complete that that assignment has been uploaded which now means it is a Google document and it's as simple as that in terms of converting a Word document, something that looks more like this, into a Google document looks more like this. Now, what's the main difference between the two? I'm going to show you that in the next little segment. Okay, now for our second segment, I'm going to show you how to share a document when you finish. So here is the Google document that I shared with you all using the link on Skyward Message Center. If I were to share this when I finish and I wanted to share it, if, for, if I were in your shoes, if I wanted to share it with the teacher so the teacher can grade it, here is the real simple process you're going to do. Complete each of the steps, step one, step two, step three, step four, all the way down. I'm sorry, step three is the final step. Once you, you have completed it, you want to come up here and you want to click on the button that says share. As you can see, I currently have this set up that anyone with a link can have access to it. Now when you go to the sharing component there's a couple of different ways that you can share it but let me explain how you need to share it in terms of turning this into me for a grade. You've got two different ways you can do this. You can simply copy that link right there and send it to my email. which is, which my email is C-A-L-A-Y-T-O-N at O-R-T-N dot E-D-U. However, you can also determine how, what kind of access I'm going to have to it. Okay, right now I have this document shared with anyone who has the link. So it's on Skyward Message Center. Anyone who clicks on that has access to it. You also have currently the ability to comment on it. Notice you have options here. I could just give you the ability just to see it, just to view it. I could give you all access and allow you to edit it, which would allow you to go along and to delete things that you didn't like. This would be a really good feature if you're working with a partner on an assignment so you and your partner can work and kind of help each other out in terms of editing things. But let's leave it on comment for what you're going to submit to me. So we're going to come here, we're going to leave it on comment, and I'll show you why. We're going to submit, or we're going to click share and save. We know it's coming to this email address, so in your case you want to send it to this email address, that way I have access to it, to look over it and grade it. We're just going to click share and save. That's an easiest way to do it. If you want to come up here and highlight this and copy it and then send that link to me as an email, that's fine as well, but this does the exact same thing. It's just a lot easier. So I'm going to click share and save. And then I'm going to click done. All right. Now, I had an email just appear in my inbox that tells me, I'll show you exactly what 
it says. It says, I've shared an item with you, the Monroe Doctrine. Okay, so when you finish and you share that and you save it and send it to me, this is what it's going to look like on my end. I'll click on this, and it's going to load up the Monroe Doctrine. Now, you gave me, you can see what kind of access you gave me. You gave me access to comment. I can come here. Anyone who has a link can comment. So if you gave an answer, and I thought maybe you wanted to add a little bit more detail, I can then, as your teacher, come over here and highlight, click on comment, and I should be able to say something like, this is a great answer filled with great details. Great work. Total points, 40 out of 40. Okay, that is how you share when you're complete and when you finish. If you didn't understand it, rewind, pause, take your time. Uh, you can. I'll post this on Edmodo as well. You can ask questions on Edmodo, and I'll get back to you over the weekend. Hope you have a great weekend, and remember that the Monroe Doctrine, this assignment, is due on Wednesday, January 29th, and don't forget the mapping Oak Ridge is due on Monday, January 27th. Have a great weekend.